Ashley, thank you. Developing at 11, two school leaders in two days accused of preying on students. An athletic director at Bloom Carroll High School accused of sexual battery with a student. Now, the latest revealed today, a Columbus City School teacher admitted to investigators that he'd been taking video of students for years. 10 TV's Richard Solomon has been digging into this disturbing case all day. We learned today from court documents Justin Foley admitted doing it for years. I spoke with a grandmother today who says her granddaughter was in his class. But the most jarring part, he didn't only do this in schools, but preyed on victims at department stores, a university, and even an elementary school. These court documents go into depth of what Delaware law enforcement found at Justin Foley's home. He admitted to recording upskirt videos of students at Columbus Alternative High School, the same school where Michelle Aquay's granddaughter attends. When she came home and told me about it, I was furious. I was angry, I was mad, and I was upset. The scariest part for her, this happened all right across the street from where she lives. She felt very uncomfortable um, even, even being one-on-one -on -one with them. So yeah, I fear for her. Court documents show Delaware law enforcement found 46 images of several teenage girls between 12 and 16 years old. On top of that, more than 5,000 images of child abuse material and 166 video files of voyeuristic nature of women of various ages in different public places. Do you feel helpless right now? Yes. Because, um, I mean, because we, we didn't know anything about it. You know, we're sending her to school every day to get an um, education. The school district has already taken matters into its own hands. A spokesperson with the district told us in a quote part, we have begun the process of recommending his termination. Um, this happens and is, is her teacher. We never thought that would happen to her. Now, the state has recommended a $250,000 bond, as well as no internet access, contact with minors, and GPS monitoring.